guys Jagveer Singh back with another video of Mastercam 2020 and in this video I will show you how can we use analyze entities and analyze distance so let's get started so for example that if we ever want to analyze the distance between two entities or maybe two lines or it can be any other shape as well I will show you using a rectangle and then I will also show you how can you measure between two different shapes so let's get uh, so if I take an example of making a rectangle I'm going to start from the origin just to know that I've entered the correct value so let's say I'm going to enter the width to be 50 and the height itself to be 50 as well so I know that the dimensions are 50 by 50 for this rectangle so basically it is a square now but if I don't know I have two options for sure I can go to drafting and use a smart dimension but smart dimension sometimes give you an error if you are not working with 3d axis so to make sure that what exactly you should do is you can go to analyze distance and from analyze distance when you click on that it's going to ask you like select a point or a curve you can select this line and you can drag anywhere till where you want to have the dimension from so I said this line and I click OK it will automatically snap to the closest line or any particular uh, wireframe and now you can see that the distance between the, the green plus mark which is right here till the red plus mark which was the last point is going to be both th uh, 3D and 2D 50 and 50 millimeters so that's how we know that yes the dimension we are measuring is correct also it gives you a freedom to choose from what kind of parameters are you looking for what kind of units it can be inches as well so if 50 millimeter is 1.969 inches and so on so it is a really efficient tool to know especially when you are working with 3d geometries for example if I go to isometric view and if I want to choose or measure a line if I have something on my front plane so let's say I go on my front plane as well and I just went to wireframe and made a simple line randomly at a put at a any random distance from the rectangle that I made I went on isometric so now I have no idea what exactly the distance is between these two lines and if you're going to use smart dimension as well it might show you sometimes error if you don't have 3d option activated so just to avoid that what we can do is we can simply right click anywhere we can go to analyze distance so now again the same thing if I want to know the distance between this whole rectangle which is basically on the same plane so I choose one line till any line to any point and it will automatically snap perpendicular so that's the best part and it will show you what exactly the distance is so in this case it is uh, 10.684 and it's basically normal so the angle is going to be 270 degrees so it, it becomes it also tell you the angle between both the lines so that's the best part of, about it if you also want to know some distance between some weird points that is also possible by it so right click analyze distance so you choose any point let's say I, I, I want to choose from this point till this point so it will al also tell me the angle and the distances for the same as well so it becomes very handy tool to know especially if you are having weird shapes or weird wireframe diagrams that you are working with so the other is analyze entities property so I click on it it will tell you the entity exactly so for example if I want to know uh, uh, like everything about this line I just simply click on it and it will tell me everything about it like what exactly the length is so this is basically for individual purposes whereas you have the analyze distance which is this one that's for between two entities or more than two entities as well so you can see it is the distance from positive to the positive red positive green to the positive red is 
56.5588 millimeters and you can also see the axis for both of them as well so the positive one is negative 2.1 so if we see that for sure that this is the origin line and this is slightly on the left hand side so hence it is the positive green is negative value whereas the positive red is right here which is going to be our 54.576 value which is positive so it it does make sense as well that what exactly are we looking at so it is a great indication of what exactly you can come to know about any particular line or any entity with respect to the position of it in space with respect to the origin so that's pretty much it for this particular video thanks for watching and do not forget to subscribe like and share the video